Hey runner, do you want to run faster? You can do all the speed work in the world and that's going to help you to some extent. But what I'm really talking about here is increasing your core strength and your torso, your low back and your hip region or pelvic region. So what I'm really talking about is your deep core stabilizers. What's going to happen when you start to increase the strength and stability in those deep core stabilizers, you're going to have more stability, less excessive motion, and that's going to translate to you running faster and being more efficient with your running form. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a 10 minute core routine that you can do after each run or in addition to your strength workouts that's going to help improve your speed, your running economy, which will play into your running performance. So let's get started. You will need one dumbbell and one resistance loop. So the first move is a bare plank. So we're going to get on all fours as uh, so on hands and knees. And what you're going to do, you're going to have a flat back here. So try not to curve it each direction. Try to have a flat back. So if something is on your back, it's not going to spill over. And what you're going to do, tuck your toes. And we're gonna hold about five seconds. So you're gonna lift just your knees up at the same time. Hold this contraction. My knees are lifted a couple seconds or a couple inches off the floor and relax down. Okay, we're gonna do a five second hold 10 times. I wanna note that my tummy isn't just kind of sagging down, it's staying strong. My core is staying nice and tight and I'm breathing throughout. So lift up, one, two, three, four, five, and down. That's one, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, relax, seven, one, two, three, four, five, eight, one, two, three, four, five, nine, last one, one, two, three, four, five. Good. So to progress that, you can hold for longer or do more reps. The second exercise you're gonna do is a side plank with hip abduction. So you can be on your elbow here and knees extended coming up or to modify, you can have your knees bent if you need to. Also, you can be straight elbow here, coming up in the side plank. But I'm gonna go elbow and then knees extended to my feet. My feet are stacked. And what it's gonna look like here, I like to have my hand on my hips or you can have it in front for balance. From here, your leg is coming straight up and down. So when your top leg comes up, my toes are facing straight forward. They're not pointing up, they're not pointing down. They're pointing straight forward and my pelvis is not rocking back. It's staying on, stacked on top of my other hip bone here. So we're gonna lift up, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten, and let's do the other side. Same thing. If you modified on the other side, I'd modify on this side as well. So knees are straight. You can modify if you need to. And we're gonna lift up one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Good job. The third exercise we're going to be doing is called half kneeling chops. So for this one, you're going to need a light to medium dumbbell, just one of them. So in this half kneeling position, it's basically like one leg is up, foot's on the ground, and then the knee's on the ground for the other leg. So you're going to hold the dumbbell with both hands, 
Keep a slight bend in your elbows throughout, and what you're gonna do, drop it to one, drop it to the lead leg um, hip on the side, and then you're gonna come up in this diagonal pattern. So it's kind of like up in one corner, down to your hip. And my, my elbows are staying slightly bent the entire time. And down, good. And that rotational movement is and stability is so important for runners. Make sure you get that full twist to the side here. Good. Five more. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right, we're going to switch to the other side. So. Lead leg right now is my left leg, so I'm going to start by my left hip, turning my shoulders and bringing my shoulders with me as I bring that dumbbell up. Good. Two. Three. Try not to use momentum. Make it nice, slow, and controlled. Four. Five. You'll feel it in your shoulders. Two. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Good. The fourth exercise are called dumbbell pull throughs. So you're going to be in a plank position. So I'm have my hands on the ground and then my toes on the ground. To modify, put your knees on the ground. Make sure your butt is in line with your shoulders. It's not up there to, to the sky. So dumbbell is going to be on one side of the mat to start. And this is, again, an anti-rotation um, exercise. So what you're going to do in that plank position, if my dumbbell is right under my right wrist, I'm going to take my left hand, grab the dumbbell, pull it through. And just alternating, making sure not to rotate my hips. Try to keep them square. And go ahead and start with me here. If you find yourself rotating a lot, please drop to your knees just to work on that core stability. We'll do about 10. Good, keep going. Eight, nine, nine. Last one, 10 and 10. Good job. One more exercise. Last exercise is called a dead bug with a resistance loop, or if you have a band, you can tie it into a loop. So this is gonna go around the balls, both of my feet here. You can also have it above your thighs if you want to, but I'm gonna put it at the balls of my feet. So to get in a dead bug position, you're gonna lay on your back. And from here, your knees and your hips are at tabletop position. So from here, my hands start up, and all I'm gonna do is reach back with uh, my left hand, and my right foot is, or my right knee is gonna extend out. So reach out. And back, out, and back. Good, so I'm alternating, trying to keep my back flat, core tight, keep breathing. Good, and two. We'll do 10. And the lower your ankle goes to the ground, the harder. More stability required. I think that's four. Five, six, four more, seven, eight, nine, last one, and as you can tell, it's very different than a typical 
quarantine where you're just doing crunches and really just working on your six pack. Here we are working on your deep abdominals. So make sure as you go through this, you continue to breathe, focus on your form and your control. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want more free running tips, make sure you check out my free PDF. I'll link it below. It's a healthy runner's crash course pages full of research-based running tips that can help you take your running game to the next level. So check that out. It's linked below.